A Sunday morning well spent for thousands of people who walked, ran and rolled their way around Albert Park. As Penelope Leish reports, families and friends joined together to support loved ones battling multiple sclerosis. Thousands of faces brought together by multiple sclerosis. <laughs> Team Lozzie showing their support for mum of two, Lauren Snedden, diagnosed just months ago. I don't think anyone expects to be diagnosed with something that can't ever be cured. I'm pretty committed to making sure it doesn't beat me. Walkers, runners and rollers all raising awareness for the condition that affects the central nervous system. And it affects no two people the same. Like I see people walking around that look absolutely fine, but it's an invisible disease. Ashley lost her mum Leanne when she was just 11. It destroys you from like the inside of your body out. She couldn't move, she couldn't walk, she couldn't do anything. It's amazing how much awareness is getting shown right now. Sam Bidey was diagnosed last year, unable to use his legs after a night out. Most people are diagnosed between 20 and 40, so I was diagnosed at 29. So it's really striking you down in the prime of your life. Every five minutes, someone around the globe is diagnosed with MS. This month, Australians have raised nearly three and a half million dollars to help find a cure. Also to support people who are currently living with multiple sclerosis with our various services. And there is hope. If we were to get it now, they virtually stop the progression of the disease, so therefore you don't get a lot worse. So there's all these people around, it's fantastic. Penelope Leish, Nine News. Amazing to see, isn't it? All right, Clint Stanaway is with me now with a preview of tonight's sport for you. Hi, Alicia. Lots to, lots to look forward to as well. Tonight, two old rivals have just played out an MCG thriller in front of 86,000 fans. Those rampaging blues.